this is going to be my like tutorial slash walkthrough of how I use cheats for Twilight Princess. Um, I'm assuming this video will also help if you're trying to do cheats for another GameCube game because it's probably just common sense what you need to change. Um, Wii games, they might be a lot different, I'm not really sure. But anyway, your Wii will need to be soft modded and you'll need this installed. This looks like a good walkthrough. I faintly remember using this as well, so I'll link this in the description. And then the app you'll need is Neo Gamma. There you go, Neo Gamma. Also, I use SD card, but I'm pretty sure it works with a USB drive or whatever those are. So those, that's what your Wii will need. I'm also going to show you how to create cheats. You'll need, I'll link this. Downloading this will give you, um, I can't remember what it's called, it's like cheat something. Code Manager 1.2. And unzip it, you just need this .txt. Um, what? .exe. You just need that. And that creates codes. So I'll open up mine and explain that then. Uh, this, ugh. this I assume the program just creates and it just I don't know, it's a bit of information to help, don't worry that you don't have it at the start. Alright, so it looks very blank. In here, you need your game ID. I'll show you what TPs is in a minute. This, I'm pretty sure doesn't matter, you can call it anything, but I suggest calling it the right name, so you don't get confused. And then I'll show you how to add codes. So let me open up this. So for Twilight Princess, Here's your game ID. Um, GZ. What, wait, GZ2P01. That's for PAL. For NTSC, it's, you change the P to an E. And if for some reason you're in Japanese, I think it's a J. But yeah, region matters, so always keep that in mind. I just called it Twilight Princess. And here are my codes. Now, say I want to add a code. You click this, pretty self-explanatory, call it something, I'll just call it teleport, because that's going to be my demonstration. That's the name. Now here you want to put what the actual code is, so search for it, or if you're clever, make it. Again, codes appear to be different for regions, so make sure it's right. So I'm pal. So copy, paste that. This can be anything. For my other one, I just put in the controls, but really, just it doesn't even matter. And then just put store modifications. And then I normally click on something else, and this always pops up. And just click yes. It basically saves stuff, I think. That always happens, don't know why. But there you go, you've now got your code. And you can tick codes on and off to like actually make them be a thing. Uh, so that's how you add codes. And then there's dot txts which just mean you don't have to keep entering codes every time so like I could save this oh there's my trial run I'll just save it as that and then we'll close this app and I close that open it up again oh no lost all my data don't worry I can just open the dot txt and here you go so txts are just to help you not have to enter everything Right, to make the actual code readable on your SD card, you need to export it to a .gct. So choose the ones you want. I'll just have teleport and moon jump. Export. You could export it straight to your SD card. For some reason, I just like to do it here so I can, I don't know, whatever. Just get the file, basically. All right, don't need that anymore. I think I explained everything. Yeah. Alright, so here is your cheat file wherever you decided to save it. And we're going to put it on the SD card. I guess I should explain how your SD card needs to be formatted. It's fairly simple. The Neo Gamma folder goes in your apps folder. It doesn't look like much, but it's fine. It works. But you will also need this folder in the root codes. All lowercase, I'm pretty sure all lowercase matters. 
and in here is where you put cheats. I'm assuming if you have multiple cheat files for the same game it's not going to like it, so don't do that. I'm assuming you can have multiple cheat files from different games. Never tried, I assume it works. Anyway, let me just delete this one so I can show it off. Alright, so once you've exported your cheat, here it is. Just put it in there. And that's all you need to know, so I'll swap over to my Wii now to show it working and what you need to change there. Alright, so load it up and there's some settings you'll need to change from default. I'll put them in the description as well in case, I don't know, you're deaf or something. So go in options, general options, you want auto detect, SD using CIOS. I use an SD card, I'm assuming if you use USB you're going to want that. I don't know, that's just my gut feeling. And then no then yes. I'm assuming this just saves your options every time so you don't have to keep doing it. And then don't mess with these where I have not it works. Mess with this one though. Now here's why I don't think this tutorial video will work very well for Wii games because you probably have to change something on here. Like You might have to change that to yes. I'm not sure. I'm concentrating on Genku games, specifically TP. So I left this alone. I'm pretty sure this is one you have to change. You want this to be V1, this to be first hook, and then you want yes and no. Again, I'll put all of this in the info. So, there are the options, and then you're ready to go. Just launch the game. I don't know if you can do it from ISOs. I have a disk. And it should say, like, searching code. So you go, found. Um. It gives me a flash of a green screen. I've had some people say it stays on the green screen and then they try it again and it might magically work and then it might magically not. I honestly don't know. I'm not a troubleshooter. I'm just showing what I do to give a general like guideline, I guess. But I'll show off the cheats to show it actually works and then that'll be the end of it. And yeah, I think that's it really. I mean, like, if I wanted to practice Hugo, I'd put on the infinite health for Hugo cheat and swap out the code. And there you go, I could practice sword and shield skip with that and to keep dragging it. But anyway, I just selected moon jump and teleport. So for moon jump, just R and A. Yay, look at me. And then for the teleport cheat, R and D up is save your location. And then let's go somewhere else. And then R and D down teleports you back. Which is pretty cool because you can do stuff like that. But yeah, I hope that helped people. You can try and contact me if it doesn't work, but this is just what I do. So, see ya.